but the thing is this too, right? Going back, like with the, the point about your husband thing, um, guys get criticized other men in the manosphere for the women. Like, you know, people criticize Donovan Sharp yeah. sometimes for Devon, Devin, but that's his choice. Like, he could she go to another me, girl. Look, she reminds me of like Coco. Remember like Ice Tea and Coco? With, with Ice Tea and Coco, yeah. Yeah, and they're freaking happy as hell. Some guys yeah. like, you know, boobs and butts and that's and it. And she is a digital marketing genius. And I've met her too. She is a sweetheart, a woman. It's not an act. She is like a genuine sweet woman, you know? Um, and that's the thing too, right? I told, I talked about my jail story with the Korean. Did you hear about that last night when I talked about it? Long story short, I was in, in Hawaii in March this year. I was driving this bitch home that I was fucking because I wanted to be a nice guy. Go whore. I met off the bumble. And the reason I called her is because you'll find out in a second. Driving her home, driving back, the 75 suddenly goes to a 45 on the highway. Cops pull me over. They're like, you're going to jail because this is a criminal act because you're like 30 over. The one person I can call was the Korean girl. And I was like, hey, please come. I know it's late. I know it's whatever. But if you bring $500 to this area, I just got arrested for speeding from taking you home. I'll be out in 10 minutes. I'll pay you right back. And she fucking wouldn't do it. And I had to spend the night in Honolulu fucking prison, which traumatized me. I am too good looking for that in prison. A man like me does not belong in jail, okay? <laughs> so, a good woman, a useful woman. She was hot, but she was useless, you know? That whole boss babe, she was trash, yeah. you know? I know, even even though you and I were strangers, mm -hmm. I bet you if I got arrested and I was like, Cat, I'm about to be arrested, here's my debit card, here's my PIN number, please just bail me out, I'll get you back. I feel like you would do it. Yeah, I would do it for a friend. My husband yeah. would do it for a friend, a patient. If, if a patient called, he would do it. Yeah. You know, there's more to a woman and the value she brings other than her beauty, which is a fading asset. And then a lot of these guys, they're so starved, they're so pathetic, they have no self-esteem. They'll tolerate shit from a woman just because she looks good. But then in 10, 10 years, because people with bad attitudes, they they age worse and they get uglier as time goes on. You know? Now you got an ugly, mean mm -hmm. animal that you gotta drag around with you for the rest of your life. Yeah, and so. you're gonna have kids with a with a mean, nasty, entitled. Mm-mm. And then they're like, it came out of nowhere. I didn't know she would be like this. It's like, I've, I've never, on all of my friends and extended acquaintances that have gotten divorced, I have never once, not even a little bit, been surprised. There was never a hint, and, and nobody else at the dinner table or the party or anything when it was announced had a, a, a oh my God, nobody. We all just kind of got quiet, like, like we we've known the whole time. <laughs> we told you. Everybody told you. But you know, yeah. if somebody is hot, you just make stupid decisions. Yeah. Or if you're desperate, I've dated, and I've dated enough hot girls. Because I, the only thing that 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 what turns me on with a woman now is knowing she's genuinely into me, mm. right? If she's genuinely into me and you can feel it the way they kiss you the way they hug you you know my main girl now when i hug her she doesn't let go i'm like let go of me you know she's like no 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 i love it i'm gonna miss you you know that's what keeps the relationship together right like the genuine desire you know we were texting and she told me it was so funny she she was using a translator but she told me, she's like, when I think about you, I get a tingle down there. <laughs> I was getting her to open up, you know, be vulnerable with me. And I doubt she's like, 
reading Manosphere's forums and like translating this, you know? So um, it's, it's totally worth it, right? Have you, let me ask you a question. Cause you know, you're, you're a woman who's lived some life, you know? Have you seen a friend that was so beautiful in her twenties and, but she was so picky to this day, she's single in her forties. I think your mic came unplugged or something. Oh, sorry. Can you hear me? Yes. There you go. Okay. So yes, uh, a million of them I've seen like that. And it's really sad because I always would tell them, I'm like, you're being too picky. You're being crazy. Cause they're always like, I could do better. I could do better. It's the same for guys. And I know you don't believe that. They have a, no, longer, it is. For guys they have choice. a longer window. But the choice, yeah. no matter who you are or how much you have, it always tapers off as you age. This is the reality of it. A high quality girl isn't going to want to have an old ass dad for her kids. He, she wants someone who's going to be playing in the yard, you know, whatever sports, not someone who's like can't walk in a walker, you know, like. Can you define what, in your word, what is the old ass dad? I want to get some numbers from you. I would say like over 45. If you're like over, is that too young for you? Is that shocking for you? No, no, like, I'm just, I wouldn't. I'm just, I'm just look, I'm, just, I'm in the moment, you know, I'm getting to know you. So I, I like, I just like to know how you take. So over 45, it's funny because King Dre says the same thing. He's mm -hmm. like, after 45, like your value is like, you know, you're, you're, you're trending down, you know, cause yeah. men do have a wall. I know they like, the, they like, the, they don't like to say that, but men do have a wall, especially if you don't take care of yourself, that wall comes faster. Yeah. I mean, ideally the ultimate choice a woman wants is someone four years older. That seems to be like universal worldwide. We always want four years older. We always can't get someone where we want in life four years older. So we have to go a little bit older, but that's always a compromise, a little bit older to get what you want, a little bit older. And then after a certain point, it's just like, maybe you won't, you'll get them, but you won't have kids with them because then it's going to be all on you. And it's kind of like you're a single mom. And eventually you're probably going to be a single mom anyways, like a widow. So mm. then it, it does. And like, I had an old dad and a very young mom. And and I saw like there's a nosedive and what you can do with your kids. 